Hello and welcome to another update video about Phantom. Phantom is, in my opinion, still in a downtrend and any move up which is currently coming up here or that this current um, price increase that is happening, at the moment at least, it still looks fairly corrective to me. Yeah, it is not uh, comparable with what we did back here when we were coming down. So I would call this impulsive. This was an impulsive move down. This as well. And anything that came up here was corrective. You can just see it by um, the weakness compared to these strong downtrend, downward moves. Yeah, They were much stronger compared to what's coming up here. And therefore my view is that, yeah, you know, we, we are currently only correcting that preceding move down. Phantom was pretty much oversold. Yeah, it did obviously come into my target area from that point of view. And again, it, it did what it needed to do to complete the correction. At least it fulfilled the minimum requirements, which doesn't mean that the correction has to be over there. Sometimes um, misconceptions about this. If I tell you that a crypto has reached my target area, for me, that is then a buying zone. And a lot of cryptos have already reached the target areas. Personally, I would never try to chase the lowest low. Yeah, and if I tell you that I still primarily expect the price to reach that 87 cent level, here the 0.786 FIP level, personally, I would never wait for that. I buy in batches and over the years, this has really helped me a lot. Yeah, I buy in batches. I, for example, buy just before the target area is reached. I buy in the target area and I buy at the low point in the target area. In the last few years, that has helped me really, really a lot and has been very positive for me. And um, this is just the best, I think, what, what, what works for me. Um, trying to chase the lowest point, which might never happen, is probably not a good idea, at least at least from my point of view. Yeah. Therefore, um, if I tell you, yeah, as I said, that the 78.6% FIP level at 87 cent is still my primary expectation, it doesn't necessarily mean we need to reach it because Phantom has done what it needed to do as a minimum requirement to complete the correction. Yeah, we've been talking about this price area here since, um, yeah, since that top of the wave B here, basically. And I think we have come quite close. I mean, we've actually reached the target area, which is fantastic. And now we just need to lean back and see how the price is developing. But what I can tell you at the moment is that we're not in a confirmed uptrend yet. Even though prices are coming up here, people are getting super bullish, which is fine. Um, and as I always say, you know, nothing moves down in a straight line and you can always get these short term price increases. And that typically happens when you're getting oversold. Um, so we were oversold here, maybe not on the daily, but quite close. But you were oversold on the eight hour time frame here on the 14th of March. And that is just logical that you then see some a little bit of a counter reaction to the upside. That's absolutely normal, logical. But what is coming up here again, overlap. This looks so much corrective to me that I think the, the downtrend isn't over yet. OK, just really to emphasize that. And therefore, um, we can also see that Phantom is currently getting close to a resistance level. So we've got a descending trend line here. Again, there are different ways of drawing it. You can draw it like that, where you have yeah, pretty much a, a few touch points. You've got one touch point, two touch points. This was then a bit of fake out. And you've got three touch points and based on that you're just currently finding resistance at this descending trend line there's a bit of a different way of drawing it by taking into account that wave b high then taking into account this high there at the um, second of march from that point of view there would still be quite a bit of space before that descending trend line is reached i don't think though that is a very valid way of doing it because we get more touch points if we just draw it like that okay um and i think it makes sense that we're currently finding resistance there. So I would rather draw it like that. And that is also very close to that 20 day moving or uh, moving average there in orange, which is also probably keeping the price down a little bit. Yeah. So until we break out of that descending trend line and that level is just above 135. Yeah. I would still think primarily that we're coming down, but even then, you know, I, I think a very important level to break above to get back into an uptrend would be that $2.08 level. And of course, that is quite far away from now, but it is the next significant high. Yeah, so we are quite far away from that. It's the next significant high. We want to make a higher low and a higher high. At the moment, we don't have a higher low and we don't have a higher high. So we need to wait for that in order to break that downtrending structure. We don't have that yet. Um, and therefore, I think we have to remain a little bit more patient. Anybody who can't wait, um, who does, who wants to get in earlier, obviously has to make the decision when to buy. I already bought. That's what I can tell you. 
anybody who wants to wait for a confirmation of an uptrend has to wait but then probably loses or risks to lose uh, around 70 to 80 percent of profit if that person prefers to wait for a confirmation of the breakout above one of the previous highs that is just a crypto game it's volatile the fib levels are quite far extended from each other and therefore we have to uh, live with that you know that that we have these uh, that we have to move quite far to get these confirmations that is part of the game that is part of the risk that is why crypto is not for everybody um but yeah in my opinion we are still in very attractive price moves but i think we are currently um preparing to head further down again yeah or we're not far away from that in my opinion because we are not yet breaking out of course if you break out further upside potential might be possible um let me just take a look we are currently coming down on the one hour chart. We're coming down on the four hour chart, the RSI. Therefore, there is scope for further upside. And yeah, to be fair, we can draw a short term uptrending line. To be fair, this is only really the immediate short term. And based on that, you're currently getting into an apex here. And it's now the price that needs to decide. Now, I can't tell you in which direction we are breaking up. The indicators would support both a move up and a move down. But I can definitely tell you that the price structure and what it's doing here does not look impulsive to me yet. It looks still very corrective, which would indicate that sooner or later we still come down further. And the ideal level for me would be that 87 cent level. Of course, the $1 level is always an important support as well. But the 87 cent level would be that 78.6% FIP level. And that makes definitely sense to me. Yeah. Bear in mind, short term upside is always possible in the crypto market as well. And we could see short term upside if we break above that descending trend line. But what is in interesting and important for everybody, I think, do we already get in a sustainable uptrend? And about that, I am still skeptical. Let's take a look at the EMA ribbon. So we do have actually a long signal, as you can see here on the four hour chart. We do have a long signal. Um, I think to hold that long signal, it needs to hold that ascending trend line. We're currently coming down here. That ascending trend line at 125 needs to hold. If we lose the 125 level, I think we're also going to see a short signal again on the four hour chart. The one hour chart is already breaking below the EMA ribbon. So that is not a good sign. Yeah. But again, if it holds that trend line, it can easily push again above the EMA ribbon. On the eight hour chart, the price has completely failed to break above the EMA ribbon. So still below that. So we're still quite far away anyway of that EMA ribbon um, on the daily or to cross the EMA ribbon on the daily. Throughout that whole downtrend, we haven't really crossed it. Yeah, there was here a couple of fake outs. Yes, um, that was a more significant move up. Well, that was actually that wave B anyway. Uh, but in this whole downtrend, we have not moved above the EMA ribbon on the daily. So we are currently still quite far away from crossing it. And until that is the case, again, that would just be another indication that we start to move up more sustainably at the moment. Again, we, we are quite far away from that. Uh, therefore, my expectation would be that we have not seen the low from Phantom yet, but we are certainly really getting close to the low, especially considering from where we come from. And bear in mind, a few months ago, nobody would have imagined a, a nearly a dollar uh, phantom. And we were there a few few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, just on this channel, you saw it already um, weeks ago. Yeah, and we, are, we were finally there. And then anybody who didn't buy then ju just obviously needs to shouldn't shouldn't moan because we obviously came into the target area. And I mentioned repeatedly that in these target areas, they are not there for fun. They are the areas where with a high probability at any point, the prices can turn around. Now, I can't tell you where in this target area this will exactly be. There's a high probability this will happen just above one of the FIP levels, yeah? But this is as precise as you can do it in TA. I, I don't think you can do it more precisely. We've been talking about these levels again for, for months now. And considering that, I think the precision was pretty good, but you, you, there are limits yeah there are limits and um, we are currently at that limit but at the moment looking at the price action itself from my point of view we haven't seen the low yet yeah um, but as I always say as well dollar cost averaging in at the current levels is for me the right strategy and I'm not chasing the lowest low because if I do and it doesn't come then I don't really want to fall more in okay so Therefore, I uh, I like to buy in batches, and that has saved me um, definitely 
the one or the other um, FOMO attack, okay? All right, that is my view here on Phantom. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a uh, subscribe uh, or a comment, and uh, yeah, subscribe as well. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.